guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video today's video is the cook and clean with me you guys are really going to love this recipe it is called sausage spinach potato soup so easy to make on top of that it is so delicious so i know you guys are going to love this go ahead and get started Like I said, this meal is so easy. My husband is going to be cooking tonight. He's been cooking all week actually and I'll be honest, it has been such a nice break. So we've been making meals that are husband friendly. To start off, you will need five cups of chicken stock or in our case, we use five cups of water and five boyan cubes. So we have the water prepped and it's going. We're gonna go ahead and move on over. I did go ahead and take all of the ingredients out for my husband so he wouldn't have to search for anything. Then he is gonna start cooking the sausage in a pot on medium heat. Now that we have the sausage and the chicken stock going, we're going to move right on over to cutting the onion and the garlic. We use three garlic cloves and half of an onion. That the sausage is done, we went ahead and drained it and put it into its own bowl until we were ready for it again. In the same pot, we went ahead and put the onion and garlic and just a little bit of butter. While we had the onion and garlic cooking, we went ahead and put in the spices. I will have all of these spices listed in the description box for you. Now that we have the onion and garlic and all of the seasonings in the pot sizzling, oh, you guys, it smells so good. So my husband is going to go ahead and rinse the potatoes so we can get those cut up and put into the pot. point your onion and garlic should be done cooking we went ahead and added the sausage and the chicken stock you guys once you add that you let it cook until it all comes to a boil and then that's whenever you want to add your potatoes and then you let those cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are tender searching for a longer day people feeling like the light has just come we must never stop the way Once your potatoes are done cooking, the soup is basically done. You can go ahead and turn the burner off, which is what we did. We like to put our spinach in last. Just let that cook until the spinach is wilted. Spinach takes no time to cook, so this will just take one to two minutes. course I had to show you guys clips of what the kids were doing while my husband and I were in the kitchen cooking they are always behind us I told you guys before the kitchen is where we all spend most of our time because we like to eat and 
this is what it looks like. Let's go back. So the last thing we did, which we almost forgot, was add in the heavy whipping cream. We added in a quarter cup and we just stirred this in and then we let the soup sit and cool down. We didn't make anything else other than the soup for dinner tonight, but I would suggest if you guys are making the soup to have like French bread or even a salad before you eat the soup. Kids, my husband and myself, we absolutely love this soup. This is something that we're going to be making often. It's so easy to make and I think it is a good dinner for cozy nights where you want to stay in because it's so cold outside you guys know the holidays are coming up and this is just an easy recipe for you to have of course jonah cannot eat the soup yet so we just had him sitting in his high chair and he was eating vienna sausages and oranges while we were eating the soup the kids ate the soup pretty well bows and drank the soup we usually have a hard time getting the kids to eat vegetables but they ate the spinach and they said they liked it so this is most definitely something that we have to keep making Now that dinner is done, I'm going to start to clean the kitchen. I'm so glad that we made such an easy meal because this day was so long for us. My husband and I completely forgot about daylight savings time and our whole day was off because of it. Kids were so tired. They still ended up going to bed at seven o'clock. We tried to keep them up, but we couldn't. They were literally falling asleep where they were playing at. Earlier this week, my husband made some homemade beef stew, and oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. It is a must. I share that recipe with you guys too. If you guys were wondering, I know I have been getting a lot of questions asking if I'm going to start decorating for Christmas, and so you guys, this is what is going to happen. I am going to post the whole house extreme clean with me because at this very moment, our house is completely destroyed, and I really need to get this whole house cleaned. So after I get our house clean, I am going to take down the fall decor, and you guys are going to go Christmas shopping with me. Guys, I absolutely love the holidays. Christmas time was one of my mom's favorite times of the year. She would go all out when it came to decorations and presents and just everything. She made the time so special for us. And now that I have my own family, we have our own house, I can't wait to start some of those family traditions. So let me know down in the comments what are you guys' family traditions. Right now, I am just trying to get these dishes knocked out. I'll put them into the dishwasher, but the dishwasher was completely full, you guys, because I forgot to run it for two days straight.
lips. I told you guys about this in a previous video, but I absolutely love them. They are almost gone because I've been using them so much. Instead of just buying new Thieves Wipes, I think I'm going to just make my own with the cleaner and oils that I already have. I was really trying to get things done tonight because my husband was going to be off for the next four days and I just wanted us to have some quality time together. I feel like we haven't had a lot of time to spend with just the two of us because we've had so much stuff going on. It's been crazy but hopefully with these next few days of him being off we can get the kids back on a schedule and we can get things to calm down and we can just spend a lot of time together. I feel like every time I show these rugs in the kitchen, someone asks where I got the rugs from. And y'all, I got these rugs from Target. I do have these same exact rugs in the color red at Target. And I think I'm going to get those for Christmas because they go with all of the decor that I'm thinking about. myself a while ago I was going to add some color to this house because I feel like everything is so plain. But now that the holidays are here, I can just add all Christmas stuff and it'll look so colorful and cute. I cannot wait to decorate our house for Christmas you guys and I most definitely cannot wait to film the video and see how it turns out. Okay guys, so I am finally done cleaning. Everything is clean. The kids are in bed. I literally gave myself a pamper night. It felt so good. Just relax after I was done cleaning and then go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.